day, everyone. Yes. Scout, why are we going to this crappy restaurant? It's not crap. And besides, we broke in, remember? The security here sucks. This is St. Louis, remember? I thought we were in Hurricane Utah. We are. We're going to get some good luncheon. Let's follow this kid. So where are we headed now, little one? Oh, he doesn't want to speak to me. You jackass! You just assaulted a security guard, Evilash! Who the hell is Gregory? That's the child's name! That chicken just swore. He shouldn't... That she shouldn't be around kids if she's gonna do that. We're headed to the El Chipos. Yeah. Look, it's El Chipo. Right there. Get out of the way! Stupid. Evil Ash! That kid just broke all that. Let's everyone sit. Alright. What are we looking at and speaking about today? Well, an art thief. His name is Carl Werner Lothar Cock. Are you serious? His name is Carl Werner Cock. Or Carl Cock. Oh my god. Who names a child that? Oh, he's from Germany, no wonder. Very well. And he's a computer hacker, by the way, not an art thief. Well, Carl Koch was a German computer hacker in the 1980s who called himself Hagvard after Hagvard Salin. He was involved in Cold War computer espionage incident. Koch was born in Hanover, Germany. He grew up under difficult circumstances. His mother died of cancer in 1976. His father had alcohol problems. Koch was interested in astronomy as a teenager and was involved in the state students' council in 1979. Carl's father gave him the 1975 book, The Illuminatus, The Golden Apple by Robert Anton Wilson and Robert Shea which had a very strong influence to him from his income as a member of the State Students' Council. He brought his first Atari ST computer in, 18, in 1982 and named him Fuck Up. First, which stood for First Universal Cybernetic Kinetic Ultra Micro Programmer after the Illuminatus Trilogy. In August 1984, his father also died of cancer. In 1985, Cock and some of his other, and some other hackers founded the computer stamtish in a pub of Hanover Ostedict, which developed later into the Chaos Computer Club in Hanover. During this time, Cock came into contact with hard drugs, and more often, in February 1987, Cock broke off in a vacation home in Spain because of this and had himself admitted to a psychiatric clinic in Aachen for rehab treatments. He left the clinic in May 1987. Hacking. He worked with the hackers known as D.O.B., Dirk, Otto, Brzezinski, Pengo, 
Hans Heinrich Huber, and Ermel, who was Marcus Hess, and was involved in selling hacked information from the United States military computers to the KGB. Clifford Stowe's book, The Cuckoo's Egg, gives a first-person account of the hunt and eventual identification of Hess, Pengo, and Cock. Subsequently came forward and confessed to the authorities under the espionage amnesty which protected them from being prosecuted. Death. Cock was found burned to death with gasoline in a forest near Sill, Germany. The death was officially claimed to be suicide. Cock left his worth place in his car to go for lunch. He had not returned by late afternoon and so his employer reported him as missing. German police were alerted of an abandoned car in a forest near Sill on June the 1st, 1989. Upon investigation, it appeared as though it had not been moved for years, as it was covered in dust. The remains of cock at this point were just bones, and were discovered by a patch of scorched and burnt ground surrounding them. Shoes missing, the scorched earth itself was controlled in a small circle around the corpse. It had not rained in some time, and the grass was perfectly dry. No suicide note was found with the body. <clears throat> Despite his death being officially ruled a suicide, the unusual circumstances in which Cox's remains were found led to at least some speculation that Cox's death had not been self-inflicted. The patch of scorched ground surrounding the body was a small and seemingly controlled area, ostensibly too much so far for death by self-immolation, with no suicide note having ever been found. There are books, and there's a movie, and some music. There's a book by Katie Hafner and John Markoff, made in November 1995, Cyberpunk is what it's called. Outlaws and Hackers on the Computer Frontier Revised. Movies. A German movie about his life, titled 23, was released in 1998. While the film was critically acclaimed, it has been harshly criticized as exploitive by real-life witnesses. A corrective to the film's take is the documentation written by his friend in 1990, a documentary was titled The KGB, The Computer, and Me. And finally, music. Cock was memor memorialized by Clock DVA at the opening of their music video for The Hacker and in the liner notes for The Hacker on the album Buried Dreams in 1989. Alright, kitties. That is it for today's video. If you liked, feel free to share with friends and family, like, subscribe, and leave a comment in the comment section down below. Ash, did you just assault that security? Janitor bot. Yes, I did. And I don't care. Well, we have to follow this kid now. We gotta find a car to get out of here. I don't like it here. The food is terrible. That's right, you've taken us here. No, that was you. This area is not off limits. Kid, what are you doing? Oh my god, he just committed chicken homicide. Kid, where are we going? He's taking us to a car to get out of here. Well, that is it for today's video. There will be video number two. If you liked, yes, be sure to like, subscribe, leave a comment in the comment section below, and we will see you for video number two.
Gregory, get the hell out of here. Drive, man, drive. Drive. Yeah, kid, drive. Oh. Oh, this is speeding. Oh, my God. Kid, that's vehicular homicide right there. <laughs> That is vehicular homicide you just committed there. Mm. This is hilarious. Oh my god, vandalism. Kid, where are you taking us? Well, those two have a happy ending, but as for us, well, yeah, goodbye, we're taking the car. You can go fuck yourselves. Evil Ash, you came up with a great idea of taking their car. I must say, it was genius. Besides, those two stink. Indeed. Goodbye, everyone. See you next video.